In this tutorial, I'll show you how to take the model of Spot that I made in a previous tutorial and swap the template the model is linked to to quickly and easily create a set of Cubicraft figures that you can use to animate or use in the game engine. Open the rigged Spock file, the model of Spock with the armature. I'm going to change the window from 3D view to UV image editor and I'm going to click this button to look at the image file that the model is UV mapped to. Notice that Spock's head is to the right and to the top and the body to the left to the bottom, arms diagonally opposite and the feet down the side. Change the window back to 3D view, select any part of the body, click the textures button, scroll down to the images panel. Slightly greyed out is the name of the image file, the spot template, and here, using the same name, is the internal name of the image, which I'm going to change to QB template. Click the pack button, select remove pack, click the file browser button, go to the folder where you've downloaded your QBCraft templates, select the file and click accept. I'm going to hide the armature and rotate the view dragging with the middle mouse button. If I change the window to a UV image editor window, we see the template, all the elements are ex in exactly the same places for the spot model, that's why the UV mapping is perfect. Remember to pack the image file back into the blend file and file save as. Give the file a meaningful name, Iron Man save the blender file. I'm going to change to another template, click the pack button, select remove pack, click the file browser button, I'm selecting the latest Spider-Man template and accept. Now the head and the body are UV mapped correctly but there's a problem with the arms and the legs. To fix that I'm dragging on the white diagonal lines to open up a new window, changing the new window to a UV image editing map window, in object mode I'm selecting the arm and then going into edit mode to adjust the mapping. Shift and drag with the middle mouse button, zoom in with the mouse wheel, G to grab, X for X direction and adjust the mapping. Go into object mode to select the other arm, go back into edit mode to adjust the mapping, G, X and move that over. Back into object mode to select a leg, back into edit mode to adjust the mapping. Shift middle mouse button to pan, G to grab, Y for Y direction and move that up, G, X and move it across a little bit, go into object mode, select the other leg, back into edit mode and G to grab, Y for Y direction and adjust that, G to grab, X for X direction and adjust in the X direction on the white diagonal lines to close the UV image editing window. Click the pack button to pack the template into the blender file. File save as Spider-Man. And save. I'm going to open the Spock model. The layout of the Spock template is the most commonly used layout. I'm going to unpack the template and click the browse button and load in the Superman template and when we do that the mapping is completely out of sync. If I change the window to a UV image editing window and look at the template you see that everything is in a different position. The head that's normally to the top is now to the bottom and that's why the mapping is out of sync but with bit of moving around and a bit of messing about there's nothing too difficult to remapping and getting the correct mapping. A lot of the templates have little extras. Superman's cloak should hang down at the back, Batman should have pointy ears and Thor should have a warhammer. All these are little tests of your modeling and mapping skills. That's the end of this tutorial. In future tutorials, I'll show you how to import a model with an armature and how to save and use animated actions. 
I'll put the finished files and links to the template files at my website www.freemovies.co.uk at the Blender channel there. Thanks for watching and goodbye.